Hello. Um, probably hear my fan. My fan's very loud. Um, my mum's coming home soon. I know you don't care. My mum's coming home soon, um, so I think it'll be quick. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Yeah, um, it's been fun. It's been a fun summer. It's coming to a close. It's ending. Summer is ending, and much like this channel, uh, it comes in and out, usually. Now, this isn't a surprise. This always happens, and I was kind of planning, such I knew this would happen. It's not a big deal. The amount of times I've done a video like this where I say I'm leaving. And yeah, this happened last year. Obviously, this summer's been a bit different than last year, because last year we had stuff like COVID and all of the above. Uh, but I did some amazing traveling last year, as well as amazing traveling this year. So my life isn't a sponge. It's more, well, it could be a sponge. I'm trying to think of a good analogy here. It's more like a bus, and only so many things can get on board before people have to get off. And if it's not the case, then people are standing up and it can become dangerous. And it's a terrible analogy, but that's how I think my brain kind of works. So it's all well and good juggling stuff, but I think it's dangerous. And I'm not saying it's happened in my life before, but um, I could tell the bus was getting busy. It's time to make priorities straight and do what's best for me. And this is not me saying goodbye to this whole channel because I'm sure I'm going to come back to it. I'm almost positive that when you use all done with and and all out the way and I'm dying to get a bit more um, time on my hands I'm probably gonna come back that's not to say that I might upload on here another time but I think it's important thing for me to document of going like now I'm actually doing a closure to it and closure to this summer uh, because I felt like last year it kind of had this really weird belief for effect where I didn't really know what was summer and what was uni and it caused me to have this really weird full start type thing but I think it's helpful for me to know that going, okay, my time at home is done, time to get back to work, back to university, and back doing the stuff I love for a final year. Um, and it's scary going to my final year of university. And it's crazy that it's come this fast, but really I've seen it coming. Um, I knew that my time at university was limited, but that still doesn't mean that I haven't had a great time. I've had a fantastic time at university um, and it's not over yet, it's far from over, but I think the one anxiety I have is doing enough. Like when have I done en enough? When have, uh, you? I can't do every project I want to do. I have a, a mountain of stuff I want to do this year. Um, and I think it's the anxiety of going, I know I'm not gonna be able to do even a scratch of that. I'm the type of guy who you know, shoots for the moon and you know might land amongst the stars, which I'm fine with. But I think I'm ready to shoot for the moon again. Whereas last year, I don't think I was. I didn't have stuff in check. I didn't know what was going on, and I'm glad that this year I do. I feel like I have a more solid base um, understanding of what's going on this year because I prefer this year academically as well. Um, it's a more practical industry lens. Yeah, my modules are really fun. Uh, I have a big end of year project that I would love to focus on and really put some time into. But additionally, it's my last year at Society. It's my last year, this place, Wise TV. If you don't already subscribe, I'd suggest you do because I think without Wise TV, I'd probably go insane. It's been my kind of second home all at university. What other place would I be designing cue cards for in my summer? You know, basically a full time job in my spare time, but I'm production director this year. It's my year uh, to really put my stamp on the society and it's now this year, 55 years of uh, being a society and we're gonna celebrate that 55 years and I'm very glad that I'm able to be there for that time and do my years of service, basically. Um, I think my one bit of advice for, for past Max would be, you know, enjoy the good times. Because I think I, did, I had this mentality, especially going to university. That bird just had a bit of bread in his mouth. I think I had this mentality going into university, going, yeah, like, you need to enjoy every moment. You need to enjoy this, enjoy that. And I think it's because of my first year, uh, not the, well, the lack of my first year, that I had to make up for in my second year, in a way. Uh, you know, as well as, like, it, it only kind of taught me half the lessons I needed. And I only learnt those other half the lessons in second year. And over summer in first year, which I think was important. I did still learn a lot from my first year, but I think second year I'm still kind of catching up. And obviously I don't want to kind of go like, oh, it's technically this is my second year, but it's not. Uh, I think prehensiveness to go, this is this is my final year. And it's the acceptance of that. Um, 
who knows what's on the corner. I could take an emergency masters, but I don't want to. I know I don't want to now. Um, but I think my, my advice for um, my younger self would be, you know, enjoy the good times, but, but don't forget about the work around the corner. Don't oversubscribe. Just because you feel like you're not being overworked doesn't mean that you're being overworked. I took on far too much that I didn't need to do. Also, working for free. It's it's great sometimes, it's not great some other times, um, but that's a case by case. I'm, I'm still learning that. But I think if I was gonna give myself advice for the future, it would be, you know, as much as you want to launch yourself after university, it's not as important as enjoying the time you have now. It's kind of the phrase I keep going back to is you don't know what's around the corner. Cherish the good moments while you're in them. Kind of been having this problem recently where I can't really remember all the fantastic memories I had. I know they're there. I know I've had great times and it will come back to me. I did a better job at it in first year of remembering the fantastic times because I had so many in second year. I just didn't cherish them when I was in them. I should have spent more time doing that. Taking a step back and going, yeah, this is good. I'm happy here. It's not about understanding why it's good. It's about knowing that you should cherish it while you're in it, you know. Keep one leg in the past as well as one leg in the future and keep your head in the middle. Goodbye um, to this channel for temporary time being. Um, I'm definitely sure I will be back. Um, but thank you for providing me an outlet to experience my summer in. Oh shit. <laughs>